Hello, my name is Dr. Vladimir Gashinsky from Holistic Dental Center in Melbourne, New Jersey. It's my pleasure to introduce you to Karen Jansen, who is an acupuncturist. And Karen, thank yeah. you very much to be here. And since you're most holistic practitioner, you have some kind of event to bring them to holistic. What happened to you? Why you decided to become acupuncturist? It was a question that I asked, actually I was a student nurse, and I raised my hand, we were learning about pharmacology, mm -hmm. and I raised my hand and I said, okay, so I understand that I'm going to be giving this medication and it can either help somebody or it could hurt somebody or it could actually kill them. And the answer was, well, yes, that's true. Medi medications can do that. So I said, so what else do we have? And that made me realize at that moment that I was never going to be comfortable being, giving my heart to a profession that I could possibly cause harm. Although I did finish that education and I went on to have a great career in nursing. And I went into the area of childbirth education and a few short years later I found myself um, being in a position uh, where I was a supervisor and I was able to bring in uh, family-centered maternity care, uh, rooming in. So this was in the 70s when all of this was brand new and um, a group of us started childbirth education in New Jersey and so I, I was able to be a pioneer and to do it in a way that really made me feel as though I was contributing and making a difference and that has been my theme being it's able great. to make a difference. How is your patient benefit from your services? Um, they, they benefit because of my medical background and I um, found myself in my 50s and the kids had grown up and I knew I wanted to make a change and go back to something that wasn't nursing and that's when I discovered acupuncture. So what I offer the other people may not who are acupuncturists is that I have a long history of education and experience in assessing people and working with people over 45 years. And so I brought that into my acupuncture practice um, and I've been practicing that for 10 years. What kind of person seeks your expertise? It's generally someone who's looking to partner with someone. So they've already made the decision that they want to take charge of their health mm -hmm. and they want to become healthy. Um, and they seek me out. Wow. Yeah. What's your mission statement to help those clients? I have always been a student. And so my mission has always been to be of service to other people and to constantly be improving my skills. One of the things that makes me unique is that I offer needless acupuncture. Wow. The biggest reason that people give for not getting acupuncture is they're afraid of needles. I understand. We're all <laughs> humans. Well, there aren't too many people that have a phobia um, with Q-tips. So uh, the needleless acupuncture is a microcurrent color light um, and I have spent 10 years gaining an expertise in that so I, I can treat anything without needles and be using all of my knowledge from medicine uh, and my acupuncture education. It's wonderful. What a yeah. quick tip a person can listen to this video can take it for themselves. Well, you know, we're all deficient in the L vitamin. We don't love ourselves enough. And that's the number one reason why people don't take care of themselves. So I would say that get some more L-vitamin. Really learn that you are, are precious and we all have a mission in life. We all have something that we are here to fulfill. And when you start to love yourself, then you begin to take better care of yourself. And that is what flows from it. I love your new L-vitamin. And where the you're located and how people can get in touch with you. I'm in Cedar Grove 
and um, the name of my practice is AccuSource Healing. The best way to do reach me would be to call or text me at 973-332-8738. AccuSource Healing is also on Facebook and I have a website. Wonderful. Thank you very much for being here. It's a real pleasure. Thank you.